Previously on Chris Chan and Vivian G. Vivian has been giving Chris so many great ideas about Sonichu, like reaching out to Nintendo and Sega and even filming interviews of people around his town. Today we're picking up on this epic adventure. I'm so looking forward to this. I hope you are. If you are, please let me know by hitting the thumbs up. That way I know to make more of them. With that having been said, let's begin. 8th of December The snow last weekend delayed the scheduled interviews, but at least I did make the parkour run, and I have just finished book number 9, with book 1 or so of the 10th book to be drawn today. Also, I have your advice well in heart, and with that, I would like your advice on getting sponsors for the Sonichu franchise, as well as the Wikipedia. Considering you live in France, you may know of some clean, good product companies to ask to sponsor the Wikipedia. The holiday season is setting things back, but I'm doing my research for local printing and merchandise making places and comparing rates. Plus, I am going to appoint you to be my accountant as of this coming Friday, January, after the holiday season is through. <laughs> With that, I will go ahead and trust in confidentiality with you the rough amounts of my full tugboat, the amount that I give to my father out of that per month, and a few other details. And I will send you a scanned paper statement at the beginning of January. <laughs> with this, I am trusting you to keep the information to yourself and not share it with anyone outside of you and me. Anyway, roughly, the current tugboat is about $800 a month. I pay my father $565 out of it to cover rent, part of the house bills, and payments on my credit card debt he took upon himself to take charge of. And next month only, I have the final payments to make on a few things I ordered from Publishers Clearing House. Then there's my Netflix monthly of 10 and a monthly of 50 towards a loan I have. And of course, there are a few minor variables that come in and out that I can't recall right now. After I scan and send you the statement, I will scan and send you the receipts of my payments to report. I will talk to you again later. Stay safe, Christian. Okay, some more ideas for videos that don't require you to be outside. Whenever the weather is good, Go out and do the public reactions slash interviews. Do not delay. Do not let the weather mess you up. Anyway, answer select fan mails on videos. Role play as Sonichu and spread a good message each week for the kids. Anything to keep you in the public eye. This is necessary. We live in the age of YouTube. If you have a lot of videos or really long videos, like, like 22 minute videos, you will be noticed more so than others who produce less. You cannot get sponsors. Tiger Woods, bad example, I know. But before the scandal, wasn't getting sponsors until he was hugely popular. No other golfer can claim to be as big a sponsor as he does. There are hundreds of artists. You need to work 100 times harder to get noticed. At this stage, you can't get any sponsors, and it would be best to look for sponsors in the US. I will accept the responsibility of being your accountant in January, but your statement about few minor variables that come in and out that I can't recall right now is very disconcerting to me. You need to keep track of everything. Otherwise, you could be bleeding money you don't even know about. Also, what is Publishers Clearinghouse and what did you buy from it? You need to be keeping up on the pages and mailbags. You should be doing more than one page and more mailbags at this point. You have to work harder and harder, not just remain stagnant. Someone who is explosive. Not a rock. Do you think Vivian was trying to help him or was she just trolling him? I still don't know. Please let me know in the comments. Okay, sounds good. Mm. Today I've drawn up two single drawings. Versions of myself and Sonichu and Rosachu for Family Guy. This is in response to a tip I've received. I'll forward the email to you after I finish typing this one. Anyway, I've recorded and uploaded a new video addressing that and showing the two drawings, noting that a new respective page is to be made tonight on the Wikipedia with the two scanned drawings. 
a story for the episode featuring me and my opinions on some of the things on Family Guy and such. I have also drawn page two for the tenth book, and that is uploaded. I will fill in the info on the Family Guy page after I answer another set of mailbag letters tonight. I will answer some of the paper fair mail I have in a video tomorrow. I keep them and their envelopes within my big Sonic 2 book. Although I should say that plural now, because the original one was so full, I had to get a second big binder from a Goodwill. So all the stuff that are side issue, like pages of Sonic 2 that originally were located behind the homemade trading card pages, are now in the second volume of the Sonic 2 book. But I digress. <laughs> I understand what you talk about for the sponsor issues. But the sooner those homo ads on the Wikipedia that Jack had put up go down or are replaced with more suitable ads, such as Coca-Cola ads, the better the more comfortable I will feel. The variables will be made clear as I report the monetary use to you. I feel a bit surprised that you have not heard of Publishers Clearinghouse. I guess it's just a United States thing. Well, to start, it is described on the Wikipedia. And basically, and I quote the Wikipedia, PCH is a multi-channel direct marketing company that offers discounted magazine subscriptions and household merchandise to consumers with the chance to enter to win one of many ongoing sweepstakes. In a nutshell, from PCH, I have purchased in the past a few <laughs> educational videos from places like the Sinclair and Alexander Institutes. Feel free to Google them. Subscriptions to magazines and other things like a light up paper cutter, battery checker, fish oil tablets to name a few. I have stopped it there a month ago and I have only one last monthly payment to make next month. PCH also offers family movie videos, flowers, jewelry, CDs, infomercial advertised items, and more. Anyway, I should go to answer the mailbags. Stay safe, Christian. 17th of December. Why you been doing no mailbags and comics? You gotta keep up. Okay, if you have any spare time, I know some females who would love to see some more stuff like what you just posted. Like, I don't know, dancing shirtless. So, I'm too crappy for my shirt, you know? I'm too hot for my shirt. You know, cause that's a cool song. You know. Okay, I'm hoping for the Sonic 2 video on Sunday then. Like I said a couple of days ago, <sighs> I had to go with my family to visit my aunt and uncle yesterday, which was a nice and pleasant trip. And I would not have time for the pages. I made the note on the Wikipedia beforehand of that as well. I fell asleep shortly after my arrival back home. And since this morning, I had to work cleaning the cat poo box and around it out of the kitchen. Plus, my father needed me for business when I was personally required to be there. My father needed me. I didn't get back home today until four o'clock. I went straight to my PC to type in the personal ED page revisions and explanations with the verbatim ED page text. That took me over five hours. And I will be looking for the interviews around my church Sunday. Also, I want to make sure I understand. In reference to your note of knowing some ladies who would like what I had just posted, Mm, are you talking about my manly new video I uploaded a couple of days ago? Because that would be sweet to have them around for a while. Smiley face. Anyway, take care and stay safe. Christian. 22nd of December. Just another update. I have received a lot of snow the past weekend. And I've been unable to leave the house the past few days. It was literally my knee deep. The mail nor the paper had run since the past Saturday, but 
but as you were able to tell on the Wikipedia, I did not stop on the drawing. Although, after a two second blackout, I was without my PC for over 24 hours. But after I got it back, I made the new update on there, then uploaded my three days worth of pages the next day. I will be uploading today's pair shortly and answering more fan mail. Hopefully, I'll be able to get a car out of my yard tomorrow. I've dug out a path for the car. Now I have to get the big amount of snow off of it before I can move it. <sighs> it turned night time by the time I had finished digging the car path. You like how Sonichu would deal with that amount of snow on tomorrow's pair of pages. And I will have the video of the day in Sonichu's life recorded tomorrow soon. I had to think a lot about it, and I almost have the script for it finished. I'll email again later. Stay safe, and Merry Christmas, Christian. As I said, if you need help, ask for it. Also, since I'm guessing snow has been hitting hard, I'm thinking of other videos you could simply do indoors instead of going outside. Unless you like to start snow fights, I guess. Uh, maybe you could play the harmonica. Everyone loves music unless you're deaf. Lol. Also, January is coming up, and so you'll need to send me those financial papers. Also, how much do you currently have saved up? Thank you! Should anything come up where I am unable to go online for a while, or anything I can think of that you can help me with, I will try to let you know of. My family and I managed to get one car out of the snow yard yesterday. I did a lot of shuffling. We went to the grocery store, food line, for supplies, got some coffee and lunch at Burger King, and ran a couple of other errands as well. Mm. Upon getting back home, the car got stuck in our snow for a while. I had to help push the car, spread some kitty litter, and dig around the car until we finally managed to move the cars behind out of the road and into the snow driveway. Why, there is chance of us being able to go out again. We're not planning on risking it. Especially with the freezing rain coming in at about midnight tonight. I felt really tired after all that work. We got back inside the house at about 7.30 p.m. I ended up crashing during the 9 p.m. hour, waking this morning at 5.30. <sighs> I intend on recording the video for... A day in the life of Sonic Hoon today, as well as draw two or four pages today for the Christmas special. I had another idea for the day in the life video. I thought of making a motion comic in a little big planet level. Then of course, uploading that level and recording the footage onto a DVD RW to be ripped from and uploaded onto YouTube. <laughs> it's a fun idea anyway. I may just end up using the Lego figures anyway for a video and make the level as a side project along with that. I'll play a song on the harmonica in the video soon. And I will send you the financial information soon as well. With the starting balance after my next piece of income comes in, which considering the third of the month, January 2010 falls on a Sunday, and there is the holidays of New Year's Day the Friday before. I should get it as early as next Tuesday. After it comes in, I will print the page of the current status and start in January amount. Mark out the blank numbers, scan it, and email it to you. And I will let you know of the planned spendings and such then. I'll talk to you later. Merry Christmas. And stay safe, Christian. Twenty fourth of December. As you may have noticed, Jack Thaddeus has been donating to the Wikipedia and abusing his rights to place ads in the ad space with with homo ads. At first, it was light. The pic of Peter Griffin with the message of Seth MacFarlane approving of it. Then he touched a nerve with the Asperger's equals autism ad. 
At least it had a woman in that image. Then he adds four more offensive homo ads. And tonight, he monopolizes the space with two explicit ads that would only be shown in an Adam and Eve catalog. God dang it! I try to cope with the nuisance with F5. And even considering, even covering that portion of the screen with removable taped paper. But it's ads like that SOB has on there right now that make me want to cry in shame that my stuff is being dragged down the drain with those worse than crappy hellhole ad images. <clears throat> I miss the days when the only ad on there was the ad for your audiobooks. But even that is long gone. Please, Vivian, regain control of the ad space and remove those ads. As long as it is not a homo ad or has an image that is offensive to a majority of the worldwide population, I do not care of what is advertised there. You even have my permission to place an ad for a website that is making Sona 2 merchandise. I even made the statement of such merchandise, excluded bootleg DVDs and comic books, are official and approved by me. I wish for peace and comfort when I update and view the Wikipedia. Please help me, Vivian. Do this for me, and I will give you my full trust and faith. In any case, I'm tired from shoveling more snow earlier today, and mostly getting the snow off the other cars. <laughs> On the brighter side, I managed to make a few heavy avalanches, biggest clumps of snow sliding off any side of the vehicle. But at least I got the Sonic 2 Day video created and uploaded. And I did two more pages and got them uploaded. I'll do another pair of pages tomorrow, maybe four. It being Jesus' birthday, Christmas Day, I'll be at home with nowhere to go anyway. Merry Christmas, Vivian. Love and peace. And stay safe. Christian C. January 2nd. Why are you going on with that stupid fake Hexbox game? Or, oh, if you do wish to continue on, I wish for a copy of that disc myself. Please, so I can take it to a GameStop and check it out for myself on their console station. Also, in response to your recent letters I have received, I have no plans on selling my consoles, but I do have big plans on saving. Plus, Mostly when I eat out with my mom and dad, and they foot those bills then, just to let you know. And I had no idea about that with the Coca-Cola company. And with that, I am addressing the issue that, that has the Wikipedia down for the time by accepting the responsibility of the discussions with the Coca-Cola company, apologizing and all that. I have informed the sysop of that, and I have uploaded my statement onto my YouTube. I'm still awaiting the emails about that. Love and peace, Christian C. You must have something you don't use to sell. There's so much crap you have, like old games, old consoles, old toys, old anything. Pay off your debt faster so interest doesn't get you. And I didn't make the game, someone else did, and I have no idea where they went. They told me to post the videos. So, yeah, I don't know anything about the game at this point. I agree with you. Anyway, can you still make a copy of that game disc for me? Or can you at least tell me the name of the per person or people who put it together? I am intrigued with their beta disc and its contents. Also, <laughs> I still wait for a response from Coca-Cola or the Sysop. I get it. I screwed up but I had good reasons behind it. I was sick and tired of the mislabelings, Jack's ads, and even the letters of the gay man talking to me very stupidly. <sighs> I still accept full responsibility of my actions. Stay safe, Christian C. I broke off with them months ago. I don't even know their real names. You know how many mixed signals you give off? About yourself? Let me list some of them. 
You've got My Little Ponies. Those are for girls. <laughs> You've got a lot of crazy stuff. Anyway, when the Quikipedia gets back up, hopefully, you better have like 10 pages done. And since I guess you don't have to do any mailbags during the interim, just do something. You said you could play the harmonica, then do it. Also, you didn't comment about the selling of your old stuff. You should. I see. Well, let me address your signals accordingly. <laughs> One, the website is Adam and Eve. They give you a free, a free random gift with a purchase of $17 or more. Random? I've ordered only love dolls and DVDs from there. It doesn't really matter with them when the free gift is of their choice, not mine. I've tucked all but a select few of my custom creations in a box in another room a few months ago. I have grown out of that as well, mainly decorative items anyway. I was recycling until I had learned otherwise from my gal pals, so I stopped, stopped doing it over a year ago. Granted, but I've watched a lot of dude shows as well in my lifetime, such as Transformers, Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Z, Dragon Ball GT, Cowboy Bebop, Outlaw Star, and many others. And I am looking up more shows of the sort from the current decade. Lots of shows. That's your opinion. But I partially agree with you on it. Attracting women as well. I enjoy her body and voice. She's among my top three women celebrities who I would like to hook up with. Britney Spears, Pamela Anderson, Amy Jo Johnson, the original Pink Ranger from the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. And she starred in the movie Suzy Q. When I sang that, I was singing it for me enjoying the nightlife with women. Again, that's your opinion of the song. And if it's true, I never even knew that. I thought the gay anthem was a teen's dancing dream. Dancing queen. I did not watch the whole series, and I watched mainly to check out the hot bods of the women on the show. Correction, I have had a few male friends in my lifetime. I had five to ten from kindergarten to fourth grade. Two. Check out the slideshow of my classmates from Providence Middle and Manchester High. Those dudes and I were bros. And to name just a few of them, Joseph Heron, Todd Hope, Damian Coy, and Matthew Booty. A few I am currently friends with within my church. Four, ex-friend trader Joshua Martinez. And the pages will be done as well. I'll play the harmonica soon enough. Love and peace, Christian C. January 9th is where we will be picking up on our next episode. Hey, if you enjoyed this, I got a playlist. We've got over 200 hours pinned in the comments below. Come check it out. You're going to love it. All right. I will see you so very soon.